I'm going to show you how to build this wooden Christmas tree. How to find dimensions if you want different sizes. And how to set up cutting jig for your chop saw. To speed up work and get cleaner cuts. Over the last few weeks I made several types of Christmas trees. Because of simplicity, this model is my favorite one. Let's have a closer look at how it's built. To make this tree we need 8 parts in total. 6 parts are exactly the same. Same size and same direction of cuts. I marked them with A letter. Choose dimension for part A. For example, for this tree part A is 4 inches long. For this tree part A is 5 inches long. To get dimension for part B, just take dimension of part A and add thickness of material measured at 30 degree angle. In my case it is 3 quarters of an inch. For this tree Part B will be 4 inches and 3 quarters. For this tree, part B will be 5 inches and 3 quarters. As soon as we put together left and right parts of our tree, we will find a mention for the bottom part, part C. For the cutting jig I am using straight piece of 1 by 3 and clamping it to the saw fence. I set my desired degree and get it cut. I am marking lengths for parts A and B on the right side of my jig. Clamping back to the saw fence tight against the blade. This jig not only helps to speed up the cutting process but also reduces tear out on parts acting as a some kind of zero clearance support. Huge difference between tear out when you're cutting with or without this zero clearance support. When all is set up, I'm cutting part for the Christmas tree branches. It is helpful to lay out parts against some straight edge to make sure we are going in the right direction. I'm using very bottom part A to mark out overlaps of the branches. I'm working on one side of the tree at a time. It helps me to avoid mistakes like mixing up direction of the branches. And I can rest parts against the wooden block to keep them nice and square. To join all parts together I'm using wood glue and one and a quarter inch brad nails. If you have found this video helpful, please press that like button and consider to subscribe for more woodworking videos. Now it's time to join two sides together. When sides are joined, I can find the mention for the bottom part of tree, part C. Add marking to the cutting jig and cut last part. This part fits very well without any gaps. Next step is optional. I'm going to mark and drill out a hole for the tea light. I'm using 1 and 9 16 or 40 mm Forstner drill bit. I'm marking position for the very last part of this Christmas tree. Align it with the center of bottom part. Use wood glue and brad nails to fix it in the place.